Hey guys, GutKiller21 here. Welcome to my 50 subscribers special video. I want to thank you guys so much for 50 subscribers. It's it's really good that having 50 subscribers. Um, and what my special video is, is I'm going to um, do an in-depth tutorial on how I make my Minecraft videos. Uh, there's three parts. Uh, this is at part one. And basically, I go through step-by-step step all the programs that I use, all everything pretty much. Also, finally uploading the video. So... Uh, yeah, once again, thanks for 50 subscribers, and enjoy the video. Right, guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get uh, these three main uh, programs, which is uh, one, Adobe Photoshop. This does cost a lot of money if you don't have it, but you can use alternate um, free versions like uh, GIMP or uh, Paint.net. Those two are very good. Uh, I don't. Uh, personally use them I prefer Photoshop just because it's more professional it's a lot better to use in my opinion and the second program you want to use is your editing program which is Adobe Premiere is what I'm going to be using and uh, this is all this also costs quite a lot of money um, there's not really many fr good free uh, editing software programs so um, there is Sony Vegas Pro but that's not free um, and you know the only decent one, uh, program I can think of that's free would be Windows Movie Maker but even then that's not very good and I don't really like using that program but I'm going to be using Premiere and then um, the final one you're going to want is uh, Fraps. Fraps is um, what I use to record if you do not have uh, Fraps because that also costs money I believe then another good version you can use is Open OBS which is Open Broadcast Software uh, that is free. I am actually using that to record right now. You can see it's just here. I'm using it to record as I just said. And um, that is pretty much just as good. But personally, I prefer to use Fraps. It's just so much easier. It's just so simple. It's just you press a button and you start recording. It's all set up for you. I love using Fraps. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, in this tutorial. So, um, yeah, let's get into how to record your video. Okay, so once you have opened up Fraps, this will what this is what will come up just here. Um, you'll be in the general section. The one you want to go to is the movies tab up the top here, and this is where you want to change all your settings. So the first thing is where you want to save your video file to. Um, just click on this to change it, and you know do what you want just there, and um, you know make that where you want your video file to come out. And then over here, video capture hotkey. I like it. F12. If you want to change it, you just you just click there and then press a button. Like I just press F8 and then change to F8. But I want it F12. And then down here, video capture settings. This, if you want to upload in 60 FPS, then you'll select that. 50 FPS, 30, you know, whatever. Um, but I upload in 24 FPS because it um it uses a lot of uh, internet. If I do 60 FPS, and it takes forever to render. And so I suggest if you're starting out, just use 24 FPS. Um, and that'll be fine, but you can change this when you edit your video anyway. Um, so yeah, and then over here, sound capture settings, then you want to, uh, click record Win 7 sound. That is, if you want, if you're playing Minecraft, then it'll record your game sounds and stuff. Um, so always select that, and then, it, or your Minecraft, or not your Minecraft channel, um, and then your, uh, your microphone is the second one, record external input. Uh, check that as you can see mine is the microphone uh, blue snow um, if uh, If it doesn't come up with your microphone there automatically when it's plugged in You'll just have to restart fraps and then it should show up and you can just select that there and um, that's the, there are the only things that you need to change and um, Yeah, that is you know don't change anything else everything else is fine uh, and then yeah, so then you when you just want to hop into Minecraft and start recording. Uh, I have already recorded my video, which is just um, in here, Tech It Classic. I just recorded my episode three of uh, I got these two files here, and um, and yeah. So now I'm going to be showing you how to edit these into a video. So uh, yeah, so yeah, let's get into that. Okay, guys, so I have decided that um, I am going to be sh not showing you how to edit it in this part. I'm going to be doing that in the next uh, video because that will, it'll take a while to edit the video and that should be a, a um, 
a part on its own in its own video. So what we're going to be doing is making our uh, is making the outro image. Um, if you don't know what I mean by this, then uh, just I'll quickly show you mine here in my documents. It's in. Uh, I'll just quickly find it. Um, it's in here. Here it is. This is my outro. You can see what it looks like. And then when I edit it, I put a video behind there and play some music and. You know, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't have an intro on my videos, if you're wondering. Can't be bothered with intros. I don't think it really helps that much. But outros, you know, it kind of shows off another video on your channel. It seems pretty good. So I'm going to be showing you how to make um, this. As you can see, I have my banner here. Um, so what you're going to be using for this is uh, Photoshop. So I'm going to be making a new one right here. So what you want to be doing is... Uh, sorry, I went a bit fast. Um, you want to go top left corner and press file new and then you want you can name whatever you want and then you want to do the width either um, there are two presets depending on what you're uploading if you're doing 720p videos then you're going to be doing 1280 by 720 and if you're uploading in uh, um, in 1080p then you'll want to do 1920 by 1080p so that is um you know that's and make sure this is pixels on the side here otherwise it'll be massive if you select inches or something so that's what you want to do and then just press create and here you have your layer so what you want to start by doing is making a background of some sort I'm gonna be going really quickly here because um, I don't really want to spend too much time making a banner it's gonna you you guys will obviously make a better outro than mine uh, so what I'm gonna be doing is selecting um, a background here. I'm just going to quickly find one. I think this looks nice just here. Um, found an image. So you want to find a background of some sort or whatever you want. If you want a gradient background, then you can do that as well. Uh, so I've got that background there. And you can find these pictures and stuff uh, on just on the internet. Oops, I just opened Skype there. <laughs> so hopefully you don't didn't notice that. But um, yeah, so you, you can just find this by typing in Minecraft shaders or Minecraft background or whatever, you know, I've got a heaps of them. I've got a whole folder just full of all these um, with lots of different backgrounds, which looks pretty cool. So, yeah, so then what you want to be doing is adding uh, some text if you want. So I'm just going to be adding gut killer 21 up the top here. So I'm going really fast. I probably shouldn't. Um, what you want to do next is uh, press this T down here, the text tool, and just click and do um you know then type in what you want uh, i take all of this for granted by the way guys i pr probably shouldn't do that on a tutorial and then what you want to do is you have the i have these presets over here this is your layer got kill 21 layer um i can select that that's probably what i'm going to be using but what you're going to be doing yours will be blank um you want to right click your layer with uh the text on it blending options and then i'll just quickly deselect all these and this is what you'll have here um, and then what you want to do is if you want a gradient overlay then click this and then what I like to do um, I'm going so fast gradient overlay and then press gradient and then you can edit your colors if you want um, You can change this all around experiment with it, but what I like to do is have Like a, a, a light gray and then a white and push these things near the center So it has this kind of effect press ok and then you can have a stroke around the outside if you want uh, lower the size down, um, change the color to black or whatever you want, and yeah, there you have that. I'm just going to use this other preset that I have. Um, you can experiment with the blending options. I'm sure there are loads of tutorials and different ways and different things you can make with blending options for your text. Um, so there we go. We have Got Killer 21. Um, it's pretty basic. And then what you want to be doing is adding, you know, if you want to have Twitter, put that links and stuff, YouTube channel, whatever, add that all around here um, and do what you want with that. But what I will be doing is going here to background layer and uh, so getting this um, uh, rectangular tool just, just here under the arrow and then you want to drag out a little like a rectangle just like that and you can just press delete. Um, this is actually not going to work. What I'll need to do is go here. And then if this happens with you, then I'm pretty sure you just go to a different layer. And then notes doesn't seem to be working. Um, 
Maybe you need a. If you go layer, new layer. This shouldn't be happening. Put layer down there. Now try it and go dink. No. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Hang on, guys. I'm going to try and fix this. Okay, guys, so. Okay, guys, so I finished. I, uh, I, just, um, I figured out what I need to do. Just add a layer, put underneath, uh, shift, click both of them, and then just right click and press merge layers. And then you should be able to um, drag a little rectangle out here and just delete like that um you know that's what i'm gonna you know you can have as many uh rectangles as you want depending on how many videos you want if you want like two you can put two uh, i'm just gonna be putting two just like this um you know whatever you guys can actually make this a lot better than what i am doing you know i'm just quickly doing it this is really bad actually but and then if you want to have like a line going around this what you can do is you can right click your background layer blending options and then put a stroke around it and then just make the size bigger whatever you want you know fit that to what you what you what needs are and then you know that is your your outro thing image uh i'll quickly show you how to save it i'll be showing you it with um later on in the next part on how to edit it um and then you want to be saving it as a, a PNG and save it and then just remember where you put it leave it in a file with all your other stuff and yeah that is and then I'm not actually going to be using that because that was really bad but um yeah so that's how you make your basic background if you want to make it a lot better than mine then you can find heaps of cool photoshop tutorials but that's the basic of how I do that full side.